guys, JC here. Welcome back to another edition of Horse Racing Preview. <laughs> guys, this week's feature, of course, comes to us from Gulfstream, so that must only mean one thing. Yep, it is time again for the Pegasus World Cup Invitational. <laughs> you guys, this is race 12 from Gulfstream. Set for a mile and an eighth on the main track, is restricted to four year olds and up, and carries a big old purse of three million dollars. So let's get started right away. And you guys, huh? I am just liking Nick's go to win this one. You know, I, I'll be honest with you, I just can't look past his perfect, flawless. Breeders Cup Classic victory. All right, you guys. Seriously, he went straight to the front. Kept it. He won by almost three. All right. I mean, look at the last four times out, you guys. He did exactly that. Went to the lead. Kept it. Won by multiple, multiple lengths. I mean, if you look like four starts back in his Cornhusker handicap victory at Prairie Meadows, he won that race by 11. All right. <laughs> so seriously, you guys, this horse... Almost every race, this horse is almost going gate wire and always in blocks. What more could you ask for, all right? <laughs> I mean, he's got Joel Rosario coming back. Joel has been on his back more often than not, so Nick's go going all the way on Saturday, <laughs> guys. Moving right along. I am liking Life is Good to run second. Now, you know, same story with this one. Gate to wire, multiple length victories. And they're always usually blocked. I'm talking like over five. I think the last couple of times her life is good. He won by over five. And the last time on his Breeders' Cup race, the Dirt Mile, he, you know, won that race handily with these. This really should be a two-horse race between Nick's go and life is good. And I read our is up on this one. So, you know, life is good running second. And, of course... Rounding out your top three, I am liking Sir Winston to run third. I'm going to mix it up. <laughs> we got a couple of serious front runners, you know, running first and second for you back there. So, I'm liking Sir Winston. He's a great stalker. You know, he should easily hang off the pace like he, like he's used to. He comes to three or four back to to move on time to take the lead or run second. I think there's a couple of victories, a couple of seconds the last four times out. So, but, I mean, seriously, you guys, um, I mean, he sucked these last four races like a true champion. He could possibly pull sort of a minor upset. Possibly. But I just feel like the other two horses I've been talking about, Life is Good and Nick's Go, are both probably going to be way too far out there to catch. You know, I mean, so I'm just being honest with you guys. But... You know, you never know. <laughs> That's why I like to serve Winston and finish third for you guys. And, of course, huh, you just see Upset Special Endorse. Huh, you guys, I have said before, and I will say it again, if you like what you see, and I know that you do, please <laughs> like, subscribe, please ring my bell so you never, ever miss a video. Or pass my video down the street to someone else who's going to like, click, ring, so they never, ever miss a video. And you guys also join me on Facebook, facebook.com slash JC's Horse Racing Preview. And I will catch you next week. Bye.